Do those silicone scar sheets and silicone scar gels actually do anything or are they just overhyped? Let's discuss. Silicone scar sheets and silicone scar gels are a well-established, evidence-based, and first-line intervention in the management of a variety of different types of scars. Scars happen after skin injury, whether that be a cut, a wound, a surgical procedure, a bacterial infection, a burn. They also can form as a result of infection inflammatory skin diseases like acne. There are many different types of scars, including depressed scars, such as ice pick, box car, and rolling scars you see with acne. And then there are raised, thickened scars that are elevated above the skin surface. You can also have a variety of secondary changes overlying or within a scar, such as hyperpigmentation and redness. Many people develop hyperpigmentation and redness and misconstrue it as scarring, but these changes are separate from scarring, and they are managed and treated differently. Silicone scar sheets and silicone scar gels are effective for thickened, raised scars only. They don't work for depressed scars. They also don't treat or address secondary skin changes within or overlying a scar, like hyperpigmentation or persistent redness. There are two main types of thickened, raised scars. Hypertrophic scars, which exist only within the boundaries of the skin Injury. So for example, if you had a C-section, that incision, that line, you can develop a hypertrophic scar within that line, but it's not gonna extend outside of it. Hypertrophic scars can actually regress spontaneously. They typically appear within a few weeks of the injury. Keloids, on the other hand, are excessive and extend outside the boundaries of the initial injury. The term keloid actually means crab claw and was coined back in 1806 to describe how these types of scars extend projections out in a claw-like fashion to involve the adjacent normal unaffected skin. Keloid scars do not spontaneously regress. Interestingly, keloid scars can actually appear for the first time years after the initial skin injury. Not every skin injury, however, ends up leading to the formation of a thickened raised scar. Risk factors for developing thickened raised scars include being young. One of the advantages of growing old is that we're less likely to make thickened scars. Another big determining factor is the location. Thickened raised scars are a lot more likely to develop on areas of the body under significant tension, such as the central chest, over joints, areas where there's a lot of movement back and forth and pulling on the skin, as opposed to like the tip of your nose, for example, which just kind of hangs out there in space. Silicone scar sheets and silicone scar gels represent, well, silicone therapy. Silicone therapy is an evidence-based first line therapy, not only for preventing thick and raised scars, but also for treating them as well. One of the nice advantages of silicone therapy is that it's non-invasive. Nothing is being injected. There's no cutting in order to attempt to remove the scar. Now that being said, silicone therapy alone is probably not going to be necessarily enough in many cases to get the best results in terms of final scar appearance. It might just be one piece of the scar treatment puzzle. Check out my videos on how scars are treated. I go into detail with regards to how certain lasers can be useful in the early stages for addressing scar coloration, redness, and how injection of certain medications can help soften and flatten scars. What exactly is a silicone scar sheet anyway? Silicone scar sheets consist of a soft semi-occlusive gel sheet made of medical grade silicone. Yes, medical grade silicone is a legitimate category, it means the silicone is intended for medical use as opposed to like machine grade silicone we would not be wanting to use in the medical setting it's just you know a grade of quality if you will the sheets are reinforced with a silicone membrane backing to give them durability and flexibility and allow them to be more readily applied to the skin the downside of the silicone scar sheets is that they can be a little bit cumbersome say on the joints like your hands for example or your elbows and also a lot of people are not so keen on wearing them on the face hence the development of the fluid silicone scar gel. The gel is comprised of the same long chain silicon polymer that you find in the silicone scar sheets. 
However, there's no need for fixation. You just apply it to the skin. So it's a great option for like joints as well as for applying to the face. Silicone scar gel is applied in a thin film to the skin to provide a semi-occlusive barrier that allows for permeability of gas, but not water. How exactly does silicone therapy work to help improve final scar appearance? Silicone therapy likely works to prevent excessive scar formation by improving moisture retention in the scar through occlusion. Thickened raised scars actually have significantly increased transepidermal water loss in comparison to the surrounding unaffected skin. And this is likely a key contributing factor in the overall formation of thickened raised scars. By restoring the moisture barrier and hydration in the stratum corneum, this helps to offset these favorable factors for thickened scar formation. Also, silicone therapy works to reduce friction and tension forces on the scar that further drive thickening. Meta-analyses demonstrate that silicone therapy can decrease the incidence of thickened scars compared to no intervention. In addition to reducing thickened scar formation, it also can help improve itch, pain, discomfort, scar color, and decrease final scar size, and improve the final appearance of raised scars, whether they be hypertrophic or keloid scar. What about for acne scarring that is thickened and raised? Silicone therapy can also be effective for preventing thick and raised scars from acne, including on the face. One research study shows that when silicone scar gel is applied twice a day for eight weeks, there was a 40 to 50% reduction in acne scar thickness. So for patients who are at risk for thickened acne scars, hypertrophic scars, or keloid, applying a silicone scar gel to the face for eight to 12 weeks can ultimately help quite a bit in reducing thickened raised scar formation. A few notes about silicone therapy for scars specifically. Whether you choose to use use the silicone scar sheet or the silicone scar gel. Do know that there really isn't any difference in final outcome between these two types of silicone therapy. They appear to be equally effective in terms of their ability to help improve the final appearance of a scar. Silicone therapy is best implemented when the skin has healed over. So if you have an open wound, that's not the time to be applying the silicone therapy. But if introduced as soon as the skin has healed over and and worn all day for eight to 12 weeks definitely can help in reducing the final thickness and improving the overall appearance of raised scars. When applying silicone therapy, make sure you apply it to clean, dry skin. You don't wanna apply it on top of other products. The case of the sheets, for example, they likely will not adhere. Silicone scar therapy can be a bit cumbersome for the individual. They have to remember to do it every single day. Some people don't like wearing those sheets. It can become expensive over time but if you stick with it, it definitely can help improve the final appearance of your scar. Silicone scar sheets and scar gels are not going to help with hyperpigmentation or persistent redness. But overall, silicone therapy is safe, effective, at least in the case of thick and raised scars, and low likelihood of causing any skin reactions, skin irritation. Now, a lot of people are singing the praises of using silicone scar sheets, scar tape, to to treat wrinkles on the face, like forehead wrinkles. Is this gonna work? Well, silicone scar tape, scar sheets can improve the appearance of wrinkles. It's not a permanent change to the loss of collagen, but they certainly can help to improve the moisture content in skin's outermost layer, which has a skin smoothing effect. As a matter of fact, they even make medical grade silicone patches. Yes, medical grade silicone is a real category. Medical grade silicone patches specifically for wrinkles. I have recommended them before. I have videos on them. And not only can they help to improve the moisture content in the skin, smoothing out wrinkles, but if you're motivated enough to wear them during the day, like when you're working at the computer, maybe in the privacy of your own home, they can kind of help you to relax your face a bit and not forcefully contract those facial muscle groups that over time can lead to the formation of wrinkles. They also make one for the neck, which I have used and find to be particularly effective. I've worn these overnight. The following morning, I always am amazed at how smooth the skin looks. They're really comfortable to wear. So yes, they can help improve the appearance of wrinkles, but they don't replace lost collagen or stimulate new healthy collagen production. They're kind of like a more intensive type of moisturizing. But long story short, silicone scar sheets, scar gels, 
They definitely can work. They're not just a bunch of hype, but they only work for thickened raised scars. They're not gonna work for your atrophic scars and they aren't meant to address discoloration or redness. I hope you guys found this video helpful. On the end slate, I'm going to put my video all about how to prevent scars after surgery. In addition to discourse on the use of silicone therapy, I go into other treatments that can be initiated um, shortly after surgery to help get the best results in terms of the final appearance of your surgical scar. So check that video out next, especially if you have an upcoming procedure that you are anticipating. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.